Question 20. Which expression is equivalent to the square root of 600? I'm going to show you two ways to do this. The first way will be by hand, and then the second way I will show you a calculator shortcut. So stay tuned. All right, so I went ahead and copied the square root of 600. And what we're going to do is we are going to make a factor tree for the number 600. So go ahead and write down 600, and we're going to make a factor tree. So which two numbers can I multiply to get 600? You can give me any two numbers. I'm going to go ahead and just do 6 times 100. 6 times 100 is 600. Now you need to ask yourself, are these numbers prime? So what is a prime number? A prime number is a number that does not have any other factors besides 1 and itself. So I cannot divide that number by anything except 1 and itself. So let me give you some examples of prime numbers. You're going to start with 2. 2 is prime. 3 is prime. 4 is not prime because 4 I can do 2 times 2, right? Okay, 5 is prime because it doesn't really have any other numbers besides 1 times 5, right? 6, no, because 6 is 2 times 3. 7, yes. 8, no, because 2 times 4. 9, no, because 3 times 3. 10, no, because 2 times 5. And then you have 11. 12, no, because 2 times 6. 13, yes. 14, no, because 2 times 7, 15, no, because 3 times 5, 16, no, because 4 times 4, and some other numbers, and then 17. So I'll just stop right here, but there are many, many more. So if you need more, go ahead and look in Google for prime numbers. Go ahead and just search, of, search prime numbers list. Okay, so 6 is not prime, obviously. So give me two numbers that I can multiply to get 6. I can do 2 times 3, and 2 and 3 are both prime. So I'm going to go ahead and circle those. Okay, 100. Give me two numbers, any two numbers I can multiply to get 100. I'm going to go ahead and do 10 times 10. 10 is not on the list, right? Because I can, div I can multiply, right? To get 10, I can do 2 times 5. And guess what? 2 and 5 are both prime. And again, for this 10, 2 times 5. There we go. So we're going to stop there. So now let's go ahead and write our list. I'm going to write it in order, small to big. So I have 2 times 2 times 2. So there's three twos times 3. That's 1, 3, and 2 fives. Okay, so 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 5 times 5. That will get you 600. Let's find the pairs now. Which ones have a, a pair? So here's a pair. Here's a pair. This 2 does not have another partner, and this 3 does not have another partner. So what you're going to do is you're going to write your square root. If it has a pair, you're going to make it 1, and you're going to put it outside. So 2 times 5, just 1. If it doesn't have a pair, you're going to put it inside, 2 times 3. 2 times 5 is 10. Square root. 2 times 3 is 6. That is your answer there. Let's go ahead and see which answers are available. It looks like B is the answer. 10 times the square root of 6. All right, let me go ahead and show you that shortcut now. Okay, an easy way to do this is just grab your calculator. I'm going to go ahead and zoom out here. All right. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to put this number, the one from the question, square root of 600. So how you do square root is control, and then this x squared right here. And then you're going to go ahead and put 600, and then push enter. And I'm going to write it down, 24.4949. So my goal is I'm going to put each one in the calculator, and I want to see which one will give me 25.4949. Okay, so let's go ahead and do 6 times square root of 10. Just put it the same, exactly the same. 6, control, x squared for the square root, and you put 10. Enter. That's 18.9737, which is not the same. It's not the same. Okay, let's go ahead and do this one that we know is correct. 10 square root of 6. There we go. That's correct. That's the same one. That's the answer. Let's practice one more. 24, control, x squared, 25. Completely different. Completely different. Okay? Last one. 
25, control X squared, 24. Again, completely different. Okay, so if you don't know how to do the by hand, go ahead and just do the calculator shortcut, or you can do the calculator shortcut just to check your answer. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know which way did you like more? Did you like by hand or did you like the calculator shortcut? Please like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'll see you next time.